Hello! In this video, we're going to go over how to enable Respondus Lockdown Browser on an exam or test in your Blackboard course site. To get started, we could see that we're on our Blackboard homepage, and in the My Courses module at the top center of the page, go ahead and select the course that you would like to deploy your Respondus Lockdown Browser enabled test in. In this case, we're going to be using our example test course. So we're going to go ahead and click on it to enter. Now that we're inside our example test course, we can see on the left side course menu, we have a content area called assignments. And we can see inside this content area, we already have our example test deployed. Now to enable the Respondus Lockdown Browser with this example test, we can go ahead and click on Course Tools in the left side course menu. Scroll down. In the expanded menu for Course Tools, we can see that we have Respondus Lockdown Browser towards the bottom of the list. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And that brings us to our Respondus Lockdown Browser dashboard. On this page, we also see that we have an orange button in the bottom right hand side. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it says Continue to Lockdown Browser. This dashboard page shows us all the tests that are Respondus enabled, which means tests that are enabled with Respondus Lockdown Browser. And we can see we have our example test here on the left, and then we see the status on the right hand side, and we can see that it is not currently required with this test. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on the down arrow icon to the left of the example test name. And an expanded menu will appear and we can go ahead and click on settings. This now gives us settings to enable or unenable Respondus with this example test. We're going to go ahead and choose the option that says require Respondus Lockdown Browser for this exam. And when we choose that option, we can see that some additional options appear. If we want to add a password to this Respondus Lockdown Browser test, we can go ahead and add a password. For example, we're going to enter test as our password. And we can see below that that we have some advanced settings as well. When we click the plus icon, these advanced settings will appear. We can choose to lock students into the browser until the exam is completed. And we can also put a password so they could exit early if needed. We can also allow students to take this exam with an iPad. Uh, we do apologize, but iPhones are not supported. And if they do use the iPad, they would have to download the Lockdown Browser app from iTunes. Moving forward, we could also allow access to specific external web domains. And what that means is that if there is a specific web page, uh, that is pertinent to the materials on the test. You can enter that web address here and you can save it and then when the students try to go to that web address it will allow them to do so. We can also enable a calculator or enable printing if needed. In the calculator option we can see that we have a standard calculator or a scientific calculator and these are the additional options that you can enable for a test in addition to enabling the Respondus Lockdown Browser. Now that we've gone through all of our options and we've confirmed that we've enabled Respondus for this test, we're going to go ahead and click the Save and Close button on the bottom left side. So now we're back at our dashboard page for Respondus and we can see that the example test name has changed. It now says requires Respondus Lockdown Browser next to it. And we can see on the right side where the status is that it now says required in green. This means that we've successfully enabled our test with Respondus Lockdown Browser. Now, if we go back to our assignments content area using the left side course menu, we can also see that that name appears. It says example test, comma, requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. Now an important thing to note, and this may be the most important thing in this whole tutorial, is if you click on the circle gray icon to the right of the title, 
and then you click edit the test options and then scroll down to where it says password. This password that is shown is an actual encryption key that allows Blackboard and Respondus to work together. If you change this encryption key, you will break the link between Respondus and Blackboard and your test will no longer be enabled with Respondus Lockdown Browser. So what we're going to do is just run through an example of what happens if we do this. And you probably don't want to do this because you want your test to work with Respondus, but just to show you for example's sake. So we can go ahead and get rid of the password and click Submit in the bottom right. And since it wants a password, we could just put 22 or a random number. And then if we go back to our Respondus dashboard in the left side course menu under Course Tools, we can continue to lock down browser again. And we can see now that the status on the right side now says error. If we want, we can click the button to fix it. And what that does is it goes back into our test options, into the password field, and refills that encryption key. Uh, so uh, essentially the point of that is that if you want your test to work with Respondus, go ahead and enter your password in the Respondus settings and not in your test options. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact the Learning Platforms Help Desk. You'll find our email and phone number in the ending slide. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.